something interesting here. See how it's missing some characters. press the diagnostic button and we'll see if we can even get into diagnostics. Interesting. Uh, that's not the right display. So this thing is communicating with the plasma display incorrectly. And most of the time, the problem is this HCT 273 here. So let's, um, probe a pin or two on this. Oops, pin two is doing nothing. Let's see, just, yeah, my probe's working fine, but two is doing nothing. Five is doing nothing. Wow, it's mostly doing nothing. These are the output pins to the plasma display. So I'm going to socket and replace that chip, and I'll re be right back. So we are back with the stern Playboy MPU, and you can see that the display is operating correctly now. I have socketed this HCT273, and we can go into test, and the service menus operate properly now. Uh, do switch test, and I've got my Pinitech tester, the custom harness. Hit one twice there. So the switch matrix is operating correctly. Coil test. And Playboy has some steppers. I'll explain that to you in just a second. Four, five. Along about uh, coil 19 the LED won't light up because there are stepper motors there. And just like Starship Troopers, the um, MPU doesn't drive those quite the same, so you can't see them there. That was 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 are all steppers. And 22, or um, what is that, six? 23 is a stepper too. So those are all working as they should. Lamp test, all lamp test. Giddy up. Flasher test. And it just re-exercises some of the same coil circuits. should be proud of that. Camera time. Photo shoot. This should be fun. Sounds all working correctly. Dot matrix test. There is no way to speed this test up that I am aware of. If somebody knows a way, let me know. Like Williams games, you can use the coin door increment and decrement buttons to speed up and even reverse the test. You can even halt the test, but this one, it's once it's in test, it just does its thing. You can see my plasma display has got a little bit of uh, outgassing in the lower right-hand corner. No problem for a bench display. Let's see what this does after it gets through this horizontal line test. Ah, a little scintillation there. And back to where it started. So we are good to go. I thank you so much, my friends at CP Pinball over in South Roxana, Illinois, for sending this board in for repair. I also replaced the power input header. I mentioned before, socketed and replaced this HCT273. Replaced U213, which had a leg fractured on it also. I don't think that was part of the, well, I know it wasn't part of the original problem because the HCT-273 that I took out of here 
just for giggles, I put it back in <clears throat> and the problem persisted. So the problem definitely followed that HCT273. Did a little minor alkaline corrosion abatement up here where a battery holder was. And of course, installed NVRAM. So it's good to go. Thanks again.